my dear viewers in this episode i shall discuss about current transformer saturation of current transformer knee point voltage stabilizing resistor and calculation of stabilizing resistance for rf protection of transformer please subscribe to my channel share the videos and do comments on it now please watch the video what is current transformer current transformer ct is an instrument transformer which steps down hv primary current to a suitable low secondary current for the purpose of measuring current flowing through its primary as well as is used to protect and control the concerned line what is an instrument transformer the transformers which are used in conjunction with measuring instrument protective relays and control circuit are called instrument transformer as example ct pt cvt please look at the picture of a round type ct through its center a conductor or bus has been inserted which acts as primary winding round city is an assembly of core and winding that is secondary winding in this picture we see a few turns of primary winding and many turns of secondary winding wrapped on a common core ct consist of only one or very few turns at its primary winding so voltage induced at primary is small flux created due to small induced voltage at primary is phi which links with secondary winding and creates a flow of secondary current is when the secondary is short circuited can i repeat current transformer step down current from higher value to a lower value for the purpose of measuring current and relaying protection and control of the line in which the ct is connected in series and ct is only operated at short circuit condition of secondary this is a diagram of primary and secondary windings of a ct p1 and p2 are hv primary terminals and s1 and s2 are lv secondary terminal leads if the direction of flow of current in primary from p1 to p2 then direction of flow of current in secondary from s1 to s2 that is both current flows in opposite direction the ctr ct ratio 600 by 1 ampere means when primary current is 600 ampere then secondary current will be 1 ampere current in secondary winding will be increased or decreased proportionally with the increase or decrease of primary current the same formula is applied here as power transformer what is saturation of current transformer the amount of maximum flux density creation in the core depends on core dimension and core properties of a given city we know that flux in the core created by primary current which links with secondary winding 
causes flow of secondary current in the secondary winding under short circuit condition. As long as the flux density remains below what the maximum flux density is, a change in flux will create a ratio current flows in the secondary circuit. When the primary current is so high that the core cannot create any more flux, then the CT is said to be saturated. Since there is no change of flux, there is no creation of secondary current to flow. In the state of saturation, all of the ratio current is used to magnetize the core and none flows into the load connected to the CT. That is, secondary current will be zero. The purpose of use of current transformer at the saturation period is automatically become invalid. Therefore, it is known from the discussion, saturation of CT occurs due to excessive flow of fault current through the primary as well as in the secondary of the CT. As a result, voltage in the secondary of the CT rises to a certain maximum value point after which increase in 10% of that voltage causes increase in secondary excitation current by 50% of the current at that point. The certain maximum voltage is known as knee point voltage from where the flux does not increase in same proportion as the increase in current. This point is known as knee point. Current transformer knee point voltage can be obtained from the nameplate details of protection class cities. However, it is to be verified during commissioning of the new cities. There are two basic types of city core, metering core and protection core. The basic difference between the two is for measuring core, the limits are well defined. but protection cores have to operate over a wide range of currents, so their characteristics must be different. Measuring core requires good accuracy up to 120%. They requires low level saturation with low exciting current and knee point at low flux density. In protection cores, Accuracy is not important, require accuracy up to many times of rated current. Here from the nameplate it is known that it is a 4 core city of class 5 PTN, 1.0 PS and PS. Resistance of the city at 75 degree centigrade is 4 to 5 ohm. Knee point voltage VK is 300 volt minimum. I secondary exciting current at VK less than equal to 50 milliampere. Please watch the figure, different voltages applied to the CT secondary by a variac and respective exciting currents are noted in the table. Now a graph is plotted between applied voltage versus exciting current and we obtain a curve like this.
If we recall the definition of new point voltage, the value of voltage at which when the voltage applied is increased by 10% causes the exciting current to increase by 50%. At 375 volt applied voltage, the current rises abruptly to the value of 45 milliampere. This rises is from 340 volt to 375 volt voltage increases by 10 percent and current increased from 30 milliamps to 45 milliamps current increased by 50 percent hence the new point voltage of the given current transformer is 340 volt What is and why a stabilizing resistor used in transformer RDF protection? A stabilizing resistor is a variable resistance used like a rheostat. Required resistance is connected with the protection circuit by fixing its variable contact at a certain specific point. It is used in transformer RDF protection. The purpose of stabilizing resistor is to prevent the relay from operating due to through fault and saturation of current transformers during flow of heavy current through the CTs primary during through fault. <laughs>